Welcome back cruisers, it's great to have you joining us today for our daily cruise news updates. We have five brand new stories coming up as a cruise port won't cap cruise ships and also major itinerary changes to follow. Watch these videos and more as we bring you the latest news directly from cruisehive.com. Several sailings of MSC Musica and MSC Sinfonia have been cancelled due to the current situation in Israel. At the moment, all Haifa home port departures until October the 26th are cancelled. MSC Musica were to have been sailing seven night Mediterranean cruises on the impacted dates with port visits to Athens, Santorini, Limassol, Mykonos and Ephesus. Likewise, MSC Safonia were to have Mediterranean sailings, but longer sailings including visits to destinations in Greece, Italy, Cyprus and Sicily. Following the recent cancellation of two Haifa departures for Rhapsody of the Seas, Royal Caribbean International has opted to cancel an additional sailing as the ongoing tension in the region shows no sign of relaxing. The October 18th departure is now cancelled and impacted guests are being contacted with further details. The cruise was to be a five-night Greek island cruise, round trip from Haifa and calling on Limassol and both Rhodes and Santorini in Greece before returning to Haifa on October the 23rd. Guests to book a longer voyage with Royal Caribbean International will now need to have their cruises fully paid four months before they set sail. The cruise line has implemented the new policy immediately for all sailings of 15 nights or longer and has reached out to guests to notify them of the change. Previous final payment for longer cruises was due 90 days prior instead of the new adjusted due date of 120 days before sailing. There has been no explanation given about why Royal Caribbean has adjusted final payment dates and along with a change in time and for the final payment date, Royal Caribbean is also increasing the per person deposit amounts necessary to reserve a booking on these longer sailings. So cruisers, what do you think of this change? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Guest booked aboard Royal Caribbean's Wonder of the Seas January the 7th, 2024 departure from Port Canaveral are being notified of an itinerary change for an unusual reason. Instead of weather concerns or port conditions, propulsion issues or other common reasons for a schedule change, the ship is being rerouted to a different port for refueling. Despite the length of the sailing and change, the ship will no longer be visiting St. Thomas and will instead visit San Juan in Puerto Rico. The ship will enjoy two days at sea and St. Martin will be the first port of call, followed by San Juan and arriving back at Port Canaveral as originally scheduled on January the 14th. In a recent update, Sitka in Alaska, a well-known stop for cruise ships exploring the last frontier, has rejected a proposal from one of its residents to restrict the number of cruise ship visitors to the city. This means there will be no set limits on a number of cruise ship passengers disembarking in Sitka, a relatively small city with around 8,500 residents. The citizen Larry Edwards has submitted a petition to the local government seeking to cap cruise arrivals at 240,000 per year. The cap would have included a weekly limit of 13,350 cruise guests, along with a daily limit adjusted according to the local population. The goal was to alleviate overcrowding, enhance safety and preserve the charming small town feel of Sitka. However, the city rejected the petition on September the 29th, citing various reasons for their decision. And that concludes today's updates, cruisers. My name is Paul, and I appreciate your time spent watching the video. If you'd like to explore the news topics we have covered in the video, you can find them on our website on cruisehive.com. To stay updated, kindly show your support by giving us a thumbs up and subscribing to our channel. Have a good day, cruisers, and I'll see you in the next video.